Keller in Trump We Trust, E, Pluribus, awesome, Ann Coulter. You love, I love you love that <laughs> that moment. They were hissing. I think we got our ad for 2018, <laughs> 2020, 2020. What is so great about that is it is the Democrats' natural reaction to hearing about the American victims of illegal immigrant crime. They didn't have time to think. They just think, oh, screw those Americans. They probably deserved it. No, they immediately, automatically take the side of the illegal immigrant criminal. They, that, it was an as astonishing, revealing moment right there. Um, and I don't think a, they're showing that on the other networks. No, the, they want to pretend it didn't happen. And the president <laughs> mentioned a couple of instances last night. I interviewed, I did a town hall with Donald Trump, then candidate Trump, with mothers whose sons were murdered by illegal immigrants. Right. Nobody seems to ever want to talk about that part. Right, and it's worth pointing out also, because everyone is lying about this, everything he said in that speech last night, he has been saying for 18 months or however long since he came down the escalator and talked about Mexico sending rapists and drug dealers. Nothing was new in that. And this idea that, oh, suddenly he looks like a president. No, this is the... I mean, saying he's putting America first, he's not running to be president of the world, president of the United States of America. Um, what would you say, he says to the Democrats, to the American family that's lost jobs, family members, income, because we refuse to enforce our immigration laws? He's been saying this every speech. Where have you people been? And the idea that what they used to say this, um, that, oh, is it, what kind of State of the Union address will he give if he's sending out tweets like this? Well, come on, everybody knows you speak different differently to your boss than you do to your child than you do to your mother. I always knew, I mean, he's a billionaire. He knows how to behave. It was the same message he has been giving all along, but delivered in a proper State of the Union format. I, and nobody else in that room, I, not Republicans or Democrats, could have given that speech. Maybe earlier in the campaign, because it was so new, I didn't know how it would work out. I'm now the biggest fan of him tweeting. He actually had a great line. It's like owning your own newspaper. <laughs> yeah. And if you have as many followers as him, he's getting more people reading his quote columns <laughs> than any newspaper or any major newspaper group of newspapers combined. And it drives the left crazy. Uh, I see them over on MSNBC saying, well, we took a poll and, you know, most people out in America say he shouldn't tweet so much. Yeah, okay, you checked in the newsroom. I bet you don't want him to tweet so much. But yeah, he can punch back through Twitter. And it's fun and it's funny. And I actually do really like him doing that. But that speech last night, I mean, there were so many revealing moments. As you say, the Democrats sitting on their hands when he says, we're going to stop drugs from coming into the country when he Great says jobs. we're bringing 10,000 jobs back and they're sitting scowling and those <laughs> women in white those big sows the most exercise they've gotten they finally figure out oh we've got to stand for this it's like Pilates yeah. for them um, that speech was it was it was fabulous Amazing. and they're not showing it on the other networks I'm glad you're showing lots of clips from it because I was watching it thinking what are they going to say about this? I mean, every line was was a home run. So they're just not showing it. This is what they did throughout the campaign. He would give a blockbuster speech, like a speech Ignore in it. Phoenix. And their position is to just say, um, trust us, America. You don't want to see it. It was dark. It was awful. And that's what we keep getting. Look, there was nothing new here. It was a beautiful speech. He loves America. No one else could give this speech. Um, oh, one little tip for the media. Stop asking him if he's softening on immigration. He's not. He's him. <laughs> All these rumors keep coming from reporters. Yeah. It's the damnedest thing because he's been very clear about how immigration, the new lodestar of our immigration policy, will be the interests of the people who already live here. Very clear point. How many different ways does he have to say it? And yet they just can't stop asking. You but worried? Look at it from the perspective of the poor illegal. No, we're looking at it from Are the perspective you worried about of the poor Americans in Congress. Oh yeah. Me too. Yeah, there's only one senator who is desperately trying to become my favorite senator, Senator Tom Cotton. And actually, there are a fair number of House members. But no, those guys need Freedom to be caucus. knocked around. I think so, though. I'm not even sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know that many House members. But there seem to be a few good ones. But as I wrote last week, um, stop imitating Reagan and start imitating Donald Trump right now. Yeah, and they would be good for them politically, and the country gets turned around, and our place in the world gets restored. I think they may yeah. end up getting some Trumpian primary challengers. And oh, I think you you're know right. I've always been against primary challenges to run to safe seats. No, I I think we might want to open it up if they don't step up. Yeah.
All right. Ann Coulter, good to see you. Thank good you. Good to see you. Up next, President Trump reached across the aisle numerous times last night, asked the Democrats, work with Republicans on behalf of you, the American people. Will they stop being obstructionists? Don't hold your breath. Larry Elder, Ari Fleischer, Anthony Scaramucci will join us and also later tonight. That's why she's there yeah, as, well, a, as, a, as a sort of a FU to the I just people who are criticizing him for this. Liberals lashing out at President Trump. Why? For honoring the widow of a fallen Navy SEAL. It doesn't get any lower than this. We'll have that and more straight ahead.